Detroit seems to be known for two things. Certainly music, of which the DSO is right at the top of the list. Well, maybe Aretha and a couple others. But also the Motor City, cars. One of our oboists, Ryan Ventura, has the keys to the classics. Well, this car is a 1962 Lincoln Continental convertible, four door, suicide doors, the uh, iconic feature of these, this body style, which ran from 61 to 69. The convertible went from 61 to 67. Um, and then right over my shoulder is the matching 1962 Lincoln Continental sedan, four door sedan. The unusual thing about these cars is that the color, it's called velvet turquoise, an extremely rare color. Um, and to end up with matching a uh, set of sedan and convertible is extremely rare. I've been to a number of Lincoln meets uh, and car shows and I've never seen another matched pair of Lincolns like this. Um, and then the last car that I have, which was actually the first one that I bought, is a 1971 Lincoln Continental Mark III. Um, the Mark III was built on the platform, the frame of the four-door Thunderbird. Uh, when I was a kid, I also had a 1969 four-door Thunderbird and couldn't afford it, a uh, Mark III as a kid, but I could afford a high-mileage four-door uh, T-Bird. The Continental Mark III that I have is uh, very similar to the uh, to Thunderbird that I had as a, as a child or as a young adult. Um, it has the same color interior, it has the same features, the same options. Um, just a little bit more impressive with that Rolls-Royce style grill. Well, I've uh, played in four orchestras in my career, and Detroit certainly is the highlight. Um, I've always been interested in cars, and being in a great symphony like the Detroit Symphony, uh, which is also the motor capital of the world, was basically a dream come true for me. Um, always been interested more in Ford products, Ford, Lincoln, and Mercury, and uh, it's really the best of both worlds being here. Um, when I got this job, it gave me the uh, means to start to indulge myself a little bit with this car collection. It's just the greatest car to drive. It's a real uh, stunner to look at. Always gets lots of attention um, and is uh, a lot of fun. It's just a lot of fun. And the 61 Continental, which was this, the beginning of this uh, body year, was a total break from the styling excesses of the 50s with the big tail fins and all the excess chrome. The Continental side of the car is completely flat, well, actually, actually kind of slightly curved, but there's no chrome tr strips or anything just along the top of the fenders. Um, they call them slab sides because of the smoothness of the uh, styling. And uh, one of the things that when you're restoring a car like this is you have to make sure that it lines up from the front of the car to the back of the car so you don't see any break, especially with a four-door car like these are. It's very easy for things to be not aligned properly, and you want that total smooth profile on the side of the car to be uh, completely unbroken. So the styling, the engineering, they were famous for their quality control. Everything was over-engineered, over-built. This car weighs about 5,700 pounds. That's equivalent to an uh, Escalade or a Navigator nowadays. Um, but. Uh, they, it's the, the complete package, really, of the entire design, the, edit, the uh, design concepts, and the quality. And then once I had uh, my own car back in the 70s, the driving of it is, you can't beat it. Absolutely the greatest cars to drive.